What's up game boys and girls Big T here back with another video and we're going to talk about the continued disrespect that my favorite gaming company uh, Nintendo continues to get um, regardless or should I say in spite of its great success um, not that not just this generation but before so we'll talk about that so this kind of links into the uh, current situation with Microsoft trying to acquire uh, Activision Blizzard King, ABK, um, and just the things that have come out based on the court filings and whatnot, uh, because there are entities trying to block that merger, uh, mainly Sony, uh, for obvious reasons. Uh, they don't want to have to start paying Microsoft for Call of Duty and helping them grow. <laughs> It's basically, that's what it's about. They're not trying to protect consumers or any of that stuff. I'll talk about that in another video because it has gotten even more pathetic than the last time I made a video about this. So, but this one's about Nintendo and how Nintendo continued to get disrespected uh, in spite of their success. Now, Nintendo has obviously had failures. Uh, most companies have had failures. Um, Every company in the industry right now, as far as the big three, have had failures. Uh, with the recent court filings and whatnot, uh, the documents have shown that uh, mainly Sony, because it's mainly Sony's argument that Nintendo basically doesn't exist in gaming. <laughs> you know, and uh, some of their fans have done that as well. Not just some of their fans, but some gaming fans in general have have also done that. And I think it's disingenuous um, and disrespectful. Uh, but Basically, Sony has argued that Nintendo is an other. It exists outside of what they see as gaming, I guess, because Microsoft has argued that uh, Nintendo has, able, has been able to strive uh, without Call of Duty. Um, obviously, uh, Sony is making the case that uh, they just cannot survive without this one IP that don't belong to them. <laughs> without this one IP... Uh, regardless of how big it is uh, without that IP they just can't make it in gaming even though they don't own it um, so Microsoft has said well look at Nintendo Nintendo has sold 120 million plus uh, switches without even the likes of Grand Theft Auto which is another huge game but obviously without Call of Duty um, they've done that and so Sony's counter argument to that is a well Nintendo isn't really part of our gaming circle which is the strangest uh, weirdest most disrespectful uh, argument you can make but Sony's trying to do everything they can they're so desperate to block this uh, it's not gonna happen by the way um, but they're so desperate that they will say Nintendo a pillar of gaming uh, since the early 80s is not actually in the gaming industry they don't count um and so microsoft has said okay well we'll just use that argument and show that you guys own 80 percent of the market you know <laughs> so they flipped it on them which was a is a good strategy and for some reason they're catching flack for it while sony didn't catch flack the amount of media nut huggery and love for sony and fear i'll get into that too in another video uh, of PlayStation is also embarrassing. Uh, Sony was the one who made that argument first and Microsoft was like, all right, uh, if that's the argument that you're making and that um, the the uh, the CMA is just agreeing with outright have, without uh, without any you know dispute, they're just gonna agree with that. Well, then we'll use that argument and show you that you own 80% of the market. How are we gonna run it over? Uh, but again, back to Nintendo, because I'm trying to make other videos in this video. I'm trying to, you know, for some reason, I need to stick to this one. Um, for the longest time, uh, Nintendo has faced this kind of other mentality with a lot of their gamers and uh, the gaming media and the industry itself, where uh, it just doesn't matter. Out after the Super Nintendo, uh, they've just become other for some reason. Um, I guess they, they've had less third-party support. I mean, I just... <laughs> is that the only reason? Because that's kind of ridiculous. Um, but that's starting with uh, the N64 into the GameCube. Yes, the GameCube as well. I know GameCube gets a lot of love currently, but it didn't get any respect and love when it was out uh, uh, from other from people other than Nintendo fans. 
Um, uh, so the Wii comes out. Though I think the Wii is the one that really showed uh, this disrespect and disparity. Uh, the Wii comes out. It is a unmitigated success, crazy success in gaming, um, unlike we've seen uh, ever at that point. And um, it gets treated like other. Oh, that's not. That's mamas and grandmothers and <laughs> soccer mom. Nobody's really, you know, they buy the Wii Sports and they put everything in the closet. They, they, they don't buy any other. They just play Wii Sports. That's all they've done, which even which makes no sense because they've got games in the tens of millions, the multiple de tens of millions like Mario Karts. Uh, so that argument is kind of ridiculous. Uh, but anyway. That is what they started making because Nintendo was doing so astronomically well and they didn't want to give Nintendo the credit for being number one, basically. That's basically what it is. Uh, it was, okay, well, Nintendo isn't in their own uh, sphere. They exist outside of gaming. They can make it without third party. You know, the IPs are so strong, blah, 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 right? So that was their argument with the Wii. And so that's why they justified making Nintendo an other. Uh, but then the Wii U came along and, uh, you know, it got bl bludgeoned and badgered by the gaming media for not being, you know, comparable to Sony and even uh, Microsoft consoles, which I'm like, wait a minute, I thought they were in other. It doesn't matter the success in all of gaming. It just matters their success on their own right no 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 no. now we're back now they can come back because they're they're failing now so now they can come back into all of gaming and we can look at their market share and i just thought okay that's so obvious and ridiculous but that's what they did with the wii u the the ips weren't so strong now at this point to where the nintendo ips uh, weren't strong enough to carry that console and it didn't i mean obviously it did not do very well as Nintendo's lowest selling home console by 7 million, no, 8 million to 9 million consoles, which is a lot. And the GameCube itself wasn't like the best success either. So to sell 8 million less than that was really, really tragic. But the games, you know, a lot of the games sold really well uh, for that install base, especially. Um, but now we can bring Nintendo back into no Nintendo's failing. Look at these third-party ports. There's all these issues. Blah 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 blah. Nintendo should go third-party. <laughs> third-party. Wait a minute. I thought they were in their own realm. Now you want them to go third-party? It's strange. Um, so their IPs weren't so strong that they can exist somewhere else. Oh, they cater to a certain market. Blah 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 blah. That none of that mattered. None of that was the argument when Nintendo was failing with the Wii U. Cut to. The Nintendo Switch, which is another astronomical Wii-like success. It is beyond Wii. And I actually so said early on, uh, within the first few months, that it would outsell the Wii. People thought that was crazy. Um, it has now sold 20 million more units <laughs> than the Wii. Um, but I, I'm, again, I'm a, I'm a hater. Uh, <laughs> anyway, um, this, the Switch is an astronomical success. It sells really well. And it does so without a lot of major third parties that were on the other consoles. Uh, namely, like your Call of Duties and your Grand Theft Autos and whatnot. And they're clearly, you know, number one, at least in mind share. Obviously, PS4 uh, and Sony has the market share. But to come from Wii U to the success that the Switch is was like a total 180. Just like... That shouldn't happen from one generation to the next. You sell 13.5 million one generation, and then the next generation you sell 130 million plus, right? They're gonna sell more than that. That is astronomically crazy and ridiculous, and nobody foresaw that happening, except for me, um, and a few others. Uh, nobody saw that happening, and it's not supposed to happen. Uh, but Nintendo, oh, Nintendo's IPs are so strong. Wait a minute, I thought <laughs> if they were so strong, why didn't those IPs help the Wii U? Uh, but no, 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 no. It's, it, Nintendo's exists on their own. They're they don't need you know Call of Duties and whatnot to exist. They're in a different market, apparently. They're um, there's there's 20 different markets <laughs> when it comes to gaming and um, 
uh, Nintendo doesn't exist where Sony and Microsoft duke it out there you know even though they're still taking up time in gaming it's gaming <laughs> there's video games and it takes up people's time but somehow they're in a different market and it's just it's ridiculous again it's 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 where the industry not the industry itself but certain media in the industry and obviously fanboy gamers in the industry who don't want to give Nintendo the credit uh, they deserve um, I listen to podcasts and they're so dismissive imagine being dismissive of a company who has sold 120 million pieces of hardware 120 million install base imagine oh yeah nintendo kind of does their own thing what <laughs> how was that doing your own thing that's insane they have a lot of the same games outside of nintendo ips obviously they share the same games obviously nintendo doesn't get certain uh third party games that come out and it's going to continue to be that way until uh, they make a new system, but it's been pretty good uh, as far as uh, you know what you get on Switch um, compared to the other consoles. Obviously, there's a lot of not a lot, but there's a good amount of certain big games that don't come to the Switch that haven't come to the Switch. Um, at least day and date, some stuff comes out later, and you're like, "Holy crap, that made it to the Switch!" That you know, and that's another form of disrespect where they're like, "Oh, uh, you know." We don't consider them in our same gaming realm because their games don't uh, perform visually and performance-wise better or as good as our games. And it's like it's still the same games. It's that's insane. That's an insane argument. Um, it's again, it's an argument out of desperation to keep Nintendo from being mentioned and being a part of, at the top of gaming. Um, I can't believe that's just still a thing. Uh, they're strong enough to where you would think that wouldn't be a thing anymore, but it's still a thing uh, Like I said, there's certain podcasts I listen to from the other guys the other consoles and You know, there's a couple of guys in the podcast that are on the podcast panel Who do give Nintendo some respect and they just kind of get beat down? <laughs> you know when they bring up Nintendo and eyes roll. you can you can you can hear the eyes roll if that makes any sense because you can't see them in these podcasts but you can hear their eyes rolling in there and they're hemming and they're hawing when nintendo gets mentioned um and i just don't see how you call yourself a gamer that should be a video too when you when you don't partake in one of the biggest gaming companies of all time you don't partake in their games and their hardware in any way but you consider yourself a gamer you can completely dismiss and uh, X out one huge part of the gaming and consider yourself a gamer, which is fine. I guess you can you can do that, but you must understand that your your um, your opinion on gaming is invalid. <laughs> it, it pretty much is invalid because I play Nintendo, but I also play the other stuff. Um, so when I make an opinion, it's a formed. Uh, um, opinion on of um experience um but when you're making an opinion about nintendo and you don't partake other than to say oh that's something i buy for my kids <laughs> i mean <laughs> grown men who have children are acting this way and it's just weird to me uh but yeah i i hope at some day someday some point they will get regular regular um uh we call it um respect the regular respect that the other companies get that they should get and um uh hopefully that day is <laughs> in the near future who knows though uh well, i don't know what they have to sell to get the respect they should deserve they, sh they deserve to get um but yeah that's my video on this uh let me know what you guys think in the comment below do you think have you seen this? Have you heard this? Have you felt this perspective, this point of view when it comes to Nintendo? Does it annoy you as well? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Thank you again for watching and listening. And now, see you fools next time. Peace out.